everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mel Mel Cooks. Uh, we're gonna cook a, two dishes today uh, to celebrate Raya that falls this coming Monday, uh, Raya or Eid. So we're gonna make two dishes that I found at Nasi Kanda stores. Uh, one is uh, daging masak hitam. Um, instead of beef, which is daging, uh, I'll be using chicken. And the second dish would be uh, kobis goreng ala mama. So that's a uh, fried cabbage dish, mama style. So both dishes are found at Nasi Kanda stalls. I was also inspired by Ai Cheng. Um, she cooked these two dishes uh, with her husband Jimmy. In goes 20 grams of dried chilies. This is the pre-soaked weight. Um, this makes a really spicy version. If you're spice intolerant, uh, go for 5 to 10 grams. Next, we have 180 grams of Bombay onion, also known as Baung Basa or onions from India, 20 grams of garlic, 10 grams of ginger, 25 grams of lemongrass sliced, just the white lower portion only. Uh, we also have 23 grams of sunflower oil. Actually, I up that to 50 grams, like the original recipe. Then we're gonna blend it 10 seconds at speed 6. Then turbo it for 2 seconds and repeat, so twice. So this is 400 grams of uh, boneless chicken thighs. Um, they've been cut to about 3 inches. So you don't want to cut it too small or else it will get uh, further minced and chopped up in the thermomix. Um, so skin, I left the skin on. And if your chicken smells, a good tip is to add a tablespoon of um, plain flour. Uh, mix it up and then uh, let it sit for 5 minutes before washing it away thoroughly. Guys, at the halfway point, the 10 minute mark, please reduce the speed to reverse blade spoon speed and temperature to 120 Celsius to prevent the chicken from shredding into smaller pieces. 20 minutes is up. Yay, it's done. It's super hot though, so be super, super careful. Slowly there, slowly. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Oh, oh. There we go. Mmm, looking great, smelling great. Next, we're gonna add in the seasonings. Let's add in one teaspoon Himalayan salt, 10 grams of shallots sliced thinly. Next, we have 30 grams of black cooking caramel. Uh, you can use black soy sauce instead but it does taste different, so please reduce regular salt to quarter a teaspoon if you do that. Right. Then we have Gula Melaka or palm sugar. I use this piece, which is about 22 grams. You can replace it with dark brown sugar instead. And because we're using 22 grams of Gula Melaka, I'll have to reduce the white sugar, so we'll just use one teaspoon instead. Right, there we go, that should be enough. And guess what guys, I forgot my asam jawa, so please add this in too. Oh, it's ready! Okay, watch out for that steam, it's really hot, don't burn your hand. Let us scrape it down first. Mmm, 
smells so good. I'm so hungry. There we go. I am masa hitam. Uh, if you're concerned about all the extra oil, you can remove the excess oil before serving. Uh, please do not reduce the oil when cooking because the oil is needed for the spice uh, flavors to come out. Thank you. Enjoy. Now on to the next dish, kubis goreng ala mama. Let's add in 30 grams of oil. There we go. Just about right. Yes. Close the lid and heat the oil for 2 minutes at Varoma speed 2. Okay, when the oil is hot enough, um, at the 1 minute mark, uh, we will next add in the mustard seeds. Mustard seeds are so called Biji Sawi in Malay. Uh, they may be hard to find out of Asia, so try an Indian grocery shop. Now the oil is hot enough, so I'm going to add in my 1 teaspoon of black mustard seeds and fry it till it pops. Um, this can happen really quickly. Uh, between 20 to 30 seconds or even sooner so keep an ear out for it you don't want to fry it for too long or else it will burn okay it looks like my mustard seeds have popped so we can stop here next we're gonna add in one clove of garlic and one shallot sliced thinly okay there we go Close the lid. Ready? We'll now fry the garlic shallot slices till fragrant. One minute aroma speed two. Garlic shallot mixture is now fried and fragrant. So let's move on to our next step. We'll add on the chili and the curry leaves. Okay guys, let's skip the dried chili because it made it super duper spicy. Now we'll fry it at 2 minutes for aroma temperature, speed. Okay, it's done. It's fried and looking good. Alright, and now we can add the 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Fry for 1 more minute. Varoma tam, speed 2. Oh no! Guys, guess what? I just discovered that I totally forgot to add in my Asam Jawa paste into my ayam masak hitam oh well we'll have to do better the next time moving on we're now ready to add in half a teaspoon of kunyit or turmeric powder also add in a pinch of ground cumin powder half a teaspoon sugar one teaspoon pink salt close the lid Give it a good stir at 30 seconds for Roma Tem, speed 0.5. Okay, looks like it's done. This is how it looks like. Alright, so next on, we're gonna add in the cabbage and the carrots. 330 grams of cabbage. Uh, add in the thicker white bottom stems first before you add in the leaves of the cabbage and finally the 100 grams of carrots okay. there we go push it all in put on the lid let's go for five minutes varoma reverse blade speed 1.5 after one minute let's reduce the speed to 0 0.5 and add in 30 200 mils of water also add in a few dashes of white pepper powder and there we have it it's done let's scrape it down yay it's done kobes goreng ala mama mm, yummy 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 oh look at that i'm so hungry this was fried at 5 minutes, so it's super healthy, crunchy, just cooked with minimal seasonings and it tastes oh so fresh and yummy. Um, however, it's super duper spicy, so please omit that one dried chili. If you cannot take heat, reduce the one whole fresh chili to just half a fresh chili. Also, if you want it more authentic mamak style, up the oil. 245 grams, pink salt to 2 teaspoons, sugar to 2 teaspoons, and fry for 6 to 7 minutes for a more softer taste. 
we go. Kobe is going a la mama. Enjoy. Our two dishes best served with basmati rice. The chicken keeps really well overnight in the fridge for the flavors to develop further. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun.